him down and keeps him calm. If he's playing too hard or something, yeah. just go like that, just loosely, and he'll be fine. See, it doesn't hurt him, see? Oh, yeah, I did just chill. See, and he's used right to it, see? Just so. chill, see? That's how you get him chill, because he's kind of wild. He is wild. <laughs> <laughs> he is that's how you calm him down. Now, he's used to this. See his nose booger here? Yeah. Oh, see, yeah. I just dig in there with this, and just get it real good. If he gets a little upset, I just pull him there. I get it out and I got it my finger in there. He plays hard so he gets stuff stuck in it. He dives into the box. Oh, wow. And you do this like two or three times a week probably for him. Okay. Most cats it's only a couple times. See I got it out. Okay. Let me get the other side. Yeah, you get it, yeah, you get the business. <laughs> nose first into that. See, if they wasn't used to it, they'd protest more, but they're used to it. So. Yeah. Oh, that's good. Because we try to keep our cats it. real nice. And I get in his eyes real good. Make sure there's nothing in them. Because vets, sometimes, if they see a little dirt, they're so negative. Oh. You know? So we make sure when our vets go, they say our cats are pristine. Oh. Wow. And you just put your hand in there. And also, too, if Sometimes. you don't clean out those ears before you go to the vet, a lot of times the vet will think it's ear mites when it's not. Oh, it's just really? cat litter box dirt. Oh, you flip them? Okay. Oh. How often do you give them, like, new pot shampoo? Like that? Well, if you give them a bath, yeah. then give them a bath right away and then do it every... Um, couple days, I mean every uh, week at least for a while and they'll be used to it and they'll be happy with it. Okay. Some of our cats will just get in the tub, you know? So, and you can see they're used to this, they like that. Now on the butt, you gotta make sure that's clean. Come here boy. And I go like this. Make sure I got a nice bullseye. <laughs> Oh, stop. Because as they grow and when they get real fluffy, yeah. sometimes they'll go in the litter box and get a Klingon stuck to their fur, and then they go running through the house like there's aliens chasing them. Oh, so okay. it, sometimes you have to give them a little hygiene cut to keep the hair around the bum hole trimmed. And that's when you just have two people, see? Yeah. I would hold them like this and like this, and then she cuts them. Right there. Okay. Just, it has right to not around. be pretty, just around just the, right the bumble, the just get at the this base of the stuff. tail. Okay. Okay. See, out the way, and then it'll be fine. Okay. Yeah. See, but the more you handle the cat, you won't have a sketchy cat. Okay. Okay? Because right now, that. none of our cats go home sketchy. <laughs> they might be sketchy afterwards, but <laughs> <laughs> they don't go home that way. <laughs> and then, you're going to get the double-sided brush. Yep, yeah. we have one. Okay. Same thing with the other thing, two or three times a week. You know, <laughs> see, as you can see, he's used to it. Yeah. yeah. So, and you can also see I don't treat him that gentle. That's for nuts under the arms are common. Under the armpit? Yeah. <laughs> wow, he's even good about the belly. Yeah. Oh, Siberians so generally don't mind their bellies being petted and rubbed. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. All right. Wow. Now basically, that's all you have to do. If you ever have a knot, this yep. is what these for. Okay. And wow. just go like that. That's easy. See, and they would have knots, but he, like he, he has none. Too, yeah. Well, that's because they're used to it. Hey, boy. Okay, oh. he's finished. You see, after he's finished, he's, he's not stressed. He's not oh. been out of shape. He's not trying he's to get away. 